सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द रियल स्टिक ऑरेंज यूजिंग द ब्लेंडर एंड इन दिस वीडियो गाइज आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन मेक द दिस स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग द नोट सेटअप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी माई नोट सेटअप सो हेर यू कैन सी दिस इज माई नोट सेटअप फॉर द ऑरेंज सो इफ आई विल शो यू हेयर सो हेर यू कैन सी सो दिस इज माई नोट सेटअप फॉर द ऑरेंज ओके सो आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट विथ यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दिस टेक्चर ओके सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिलीट एवरी थिंग एंड स्टार्ट अ न्यू फाइल एंड आई एम जस्ट क्लिकिंग ऑन डोंट सेव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिलीट दिस क्यूब एंड देन आई विल एड वन यू वी स्पेयर हेयर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल गो टू द एडिट मोड एंड देन आई विल सिलेक्ट इट टॉप वर्टेक्स देन आफ्टर दैट आई विल ड्रैग इट लिटिल बिट डाउन साइड एंड बिफोर डूइंग दिस आई विल इनेबल माई प्रपोर्शन एडिटिंग ओ इज द शॉर्टकट की ऑफ दैट टूल सो वेन आई ड्रैग इट डाउन साइड हेर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ ब्रश साइज सो वी कैन डिक्रीज द ब्रश साइज यूजिंग द स्क्रॉल माउस या समथिंग लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक दैट्स फाइन या एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एड वन मॉडिफाइड इट्स कॉल्ड सब डिविजन सरफेस यू कैन एड ऑल्सो कंट्रोल टू ओके सो ना आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ड्रैग इट लिटिल बिट मोर डाउन साइड या समथिंग लाइक दैट आई थिंक दैट इज फाइन एंड आफ्टर दैट you can uh, disable the uh, subdivision modifier for a while and then you can select the some edges yeah those edges so after selecting the all edges you can drag it down something like that but before dragging down make sure you turn off your uh, proportion editing and after that you can drag it down something like that i think that's fine and then you can enable your subdivision so here you can see we have a some good stiffness here and you can apply the uh, shade smooth so you will find something like that okay and now we have a good stiffness here so then i will go to the top view and i will add one cylinder here and after that i will do scale it little bit then i will go to the drag it top side and then i will do something like that okay then i will hide everything except this cylinder and select the bottom face of this cylinder and delete it and then i will unhide everything go to the edit mode this cylinder and select the edge that edge and press the e for extrude and s for scale then i will do again e and s for scale and right now i will just drag it down something like that and you can scale it little bit more so you have to just keep it here and after that you can go to the again edit mode and select the top faces and do something like that do extrude one more time and right now you can scale it something like that then you can select that edge and do scale it outside so here you can see now we have a, a perfect uh, shape of the orange okay and we can add the also subdivision in that part and now you can uh, bevel this part also just to control b and add some edge loop so it will look perfect now yeah it's fine you can add the also shade smooth that's fine but now we will do some uh, further editing so for that i will go to the edit mode and then i will enable my proportion editing and go to the the vertex mode and now i will just exaggerate some uh, side of this orange because it's not a perfect circle so we just need to do some exaggeration so it will look realistic i think that's fine yeah so that's look fine so now you can see we have a perfect shape of the orange okay because it's not every time perfect yeah it's looking fine so our modeling part is done here you can see okay so now we will uh, will go to the shading panel and we'll create a texture so first of all i'm just click on the new button and now we have a principal bsd of uh, node so then i will add the orange color so orange color is ed so this is the orange color code okay and then i will add one node it's called uh, vornoy texture yeah this is called vornoy texture and uh, after that i will add one color ramp also yeah so i will just connect this node to this node 
and uh, you can connect this node to the uh, roughness so here you can see now we have a one slider where we can control our roughness here you can see how easily we can control our roughness from the here okay so then I will going to duplicate this and keep it here and after that I will connect this distance node to FAC and then I will add one um, displacement node yeah and I will keep it here and after that I can connect this color node to as a hide node here you can see here okay and after that I will connect this displacement to displacement so when I add the displacement here you can see we have a that kind of shape here so from here we can control the all the settings okay so first of all what we have to do so we have to just uh, decrease the size of scale okay so 001 I think that's fine yeah so after that you have to change the some setting of the Vonoi texture so for that you have to change the F1 to the uh, smooth F1 okay then after that you have to just uh, increase the scale and when you increase the scale here you can see we have uh, some changes in our texture and after that what you have to do you have to just uh, slide your slider something like that okay I think that's fine and now you can change the scale of from the displacement so I'm just going to change 0 0.010 yeah so I think that's fine and it's looking perfect so here you can see guys we have a texture of the uh, orange and we can um, control from the here by the way if you want to control how much a uh, smooth you need and how much uh, harder you need okay I think that's fine to me yeah it's looking perfect so now we'll create a texture for this uh, top part so for this I will create also a new texture and then I will change the base color to dark red yeah something like that and after that I will add one noise texture on it noise texture yeah and then I will add one color ramp also okay something like that and I will connect this FAC to FAC and connect this color to roughness so here you can see if I will zoom it here so now we can control the roughness from the here same like a before okay so then I will uh, add one displacement node here displacement node and I'll just connect this displacement node to height here and just connect this displacement to displacement so you will find something like that yeah so now you have uh, some exaggeration in your uh, model so now from here you can uh, add one texture coordinate okay and just connect the uh, UV to vector no I think uh, no 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 I think object to vector yeah it's working perfectly okay so from here you can just define the scale value so I think 0 0.01 is fine yeah so it's looking perfect now and from here you can manage the value as well so now here you can see we have a perfect uh, orange here and after that you can set up your scene something like uh, this and if you want to know how I set up this so for making this setup I use the rigid body simulation and if you want to know how I did this so you can see my this video so in this video I have talked about uh, how you can fill the uh, ball with the apples with the orange whatever you want to fill okay and if I just turn my rendering mode so here you can see so it's looking perfect okay and if I will take the render so you can see the render also so here you can see guys so that's how you can make a realistic orange using the blender thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys